I am extremely nervous to make this video. It's something that I've been wanting to talk about on my channel for a while, but it's something that I've been holding back on because of the fear of being judged by other people. But I've kind of realized, fuck that. So I'm gonna make this video and that's what we're gonna do. Am I gonna post it? I don't know. This video, as you could tell by the title, I am gonna be talking about anxiety and how it's been relevant in my life and how I've dealt with it and how I'm still dealing with it and how I'm trying to cope with it and how I have been coping with it. I think like, anxiety is different for everybody. It comes in different forms and it comes in different magnitudes and there are different triggers for everybody's anxiety and it's just different. There's no one like size fits all for this kind of stuff. So that's what I want to put out there before I go into it and talk about my pers- like, I just wanted to put that out there because it's different for everybody. I'm fixing my hair because I'm nervous. Anyway, pers per it's progressively gotten worse over the last year and a half while I was at school. It's something that I don't really open up about to people that I'm not really close with because I, I don't know, I feel like it's not at all, it, but I felt like in my head I was convinced that it was a sign of weakness. And what I'm learning is that it's not. It's something that everybody deals with. Just some people have to deal with it a little bit more than others, and that's okay. So I'm talking about it, and I'm hoping that this video will be good for me or maybe help. I don't know, I'm rambling, aren't I? But so my anxiety, like I said, it's been bad over the last year and a half, and what I'm realizing is that I can't just keep pretending that it's not there because that's what I've been doing. I've just been telling myself, no, you're fine. You're going to be cool. Just deal with it. I would have panic attacks and I would just go on with my day and pretend they never happened. And I wouldn't really talk about it to anybody. I would talk about it sometimes to my close friends, but I would never really tell them. I never told them every single time because if I told them every single time, we'd be having that conversation quite a lot. And whenever they would talk to me about it, they would always ask me what's wrong. And the most frustrating part for me was that I didn't know what was wrong. What I mean by that is that I could be doing anything. I could be sitting in the library doing homework and all of a sudden I would get like a hot flash and then I would, all of a sudden it would get hard to breathe and I would choke up and I would start shaking and I just would be holding back tears. I didn't know what to do so I'd have to go to the bathroom and I would just cry and it would I would just have to ride it out until it was like done until it the panic attack was over. It's so draining because those would happen multiple times a day and it was something that I that was out of my control and it's something that I never had to deal with to that magnitude in my entire life. I had anxiety for years prior to this but like I said it was never to this magnitude where I wouldn't be able to function or I wouldn't be able to continue like my homework or stay focused. And that's when I kind of got scared and I was, I don't know, I never wanted to admit or not admit, I, I just never wanted to acknowledge that maybe there's something wrong. Not wrong, but maybe there's something that needs to be addressed because this is something that is becoming so relevant and so common in my everyday life that it's not healthy. This is really hard to talk about and I'm scared. My anxiety, I'm not a depressed person. I'm not a sad person. That's not how I would describe myself at all. If, I feel like if you were to ask anybody what I'm like, not to like suck my own dick, but I feel like people would say I'm a pretty happy person, pretty outgoing. So I wouldn't say I was depressed, but the anxiety I would experience would oftentimes bring out a side of me that was depressed or was sad and I wasn't liking who I was because it was, I didn't recognize myself. I wasn't me. Like I, like I said, I could be at the library and all of a sudden an anxiety attack would happen and I would have to go home because there's no way I could focus anymore. And I would go home and I would lay in bed or I would go home and just isolate myself. And my friends would be like, where are you? I would go days without talking to my friends. Not because I didn't want to talk to them, just because I was going through it and it was just hard. And it's really hard because those things, like thinking about how often they would occur, like is scary. And I think another hard part for me is that I never really knew how to cope with it. I could be surrounded by all of my best friends and I would still convince myself that I was alone or I would just feel really lonely and that's not healthy. I'm still learning how to deal with it. 
because it is so hard to pull yourself out of that place when for me especially I would just be in that mindset like I would be having so much fun and all of a sudden I would get in my head and I would just manifest all of this negative energy in my head and I was no matter what happened I was never able to pull myself out of that and I think that was a really scary thing for me because like I didn't know how to pull myself out of that like dark place that I was going into and that's what I mean by saying I didn't recognize myself because I wasn't able to just kind of climb out of that space by myself and it's frustrating and not only is it frustrating for me it's frustrating for my friends it's hard because they didn't know what to do so I'm still learning like I said I'm still coping and it's not it I don't know and I really hope this video gets no judgment from anybody because I really think anxiety is a very common thing and I think that as no matter how much we don't talk about it it's so relevant video cut out oops what I'm learning is that it's okay to not always have your shit together I'm getting my shit together that's what I'm doing right now and we'll see where this goes but I wanted to make this video just to kind of I don't know vent or get that out there and it feels kind of good to just kind of talk about it I'm nervous to post this and I'm nervous to open up about it to people because a lot of people don't even know that I was going through that and I'm nervous for the response this video will get but wow so that's kind of all I really got for this video if you're going through something similar or you're going through a hard time I wanted to say you're not alone as cheesy as that sounds and I know it's hard to tell yourself you're not alone because no matter how many times someone says that you just think you are but you're not something I'm learning is that feelings won't last forever you're sad right now but you won't be sad forever and that's something that I'm learning or you're anxious right now it's not gonna last forever so just really drill that in your head and realize that it's just temporary and we're gonna be good we're gonna be fine everything's fine so do something that you love today go outside and it's dark out right now I don't know, watch your favorite movie, bake some cookies, eat some cookies, call your friend, do something. Do something tonight that will make you happy, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.